welcome back and thank you for watching. Testing basic slogan t-shirts today. I've been really into them recently. I've done like plain t-shirts and breastfeeding t-shirts in the past. Um, and I was never madly into slogan t-shirts, but I'm definitely loving them with my simple denim outfits. And there's just a lot of them about available at the moment. So I thought it was a good time to test them out. They're good for summer. You know, if you just want to have like jeans and a t-shirt, but it'd be a bit more exciting. So five from high street to high end. Let us start with the cheapest, which is Topshop. This was £14, which I thought was super cheap for Topshop. It's super cheap for anything, but for like for the prices in Topshop, this is more in line with their super basics. Um, and it's got a bit of something going on. So it's mint green. This is the only one that isn't white, actually. Um, it has Love It embroidered on it. I like the fact it's embroidered and not like a sticker or anything like that. You know, not like an iron-on feeling thing. And then it also has an embroidered love heart here with the arrow going through it. I got this in a size 10. It comes up relatively cropped, but if you like things, blah, 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 if you like wearing high waisted jeans, then you'll be absolutely fine. That's not going to show any midriff, it still can tuck in. Um, this is 64% polyester and 36% viscose, and it fits really nice. It's super, super soft feeling, actually. Quite a boxy fit. I really like it. I just thought for £14 from Topshop, that was pretty good. So that's the first one. Then going up to £26, we have Urban Outfitters. This is from their BDG range. This is a size small. And the material, it feels like it's 100% cotton. So we, we shall see. Oh no, does it not have a label on the inside? It does, it does. It is 100% cotton. Um, I personally really like the feel of a cotton t-shirt. This is definitely softer, but I've said before I like boxy t-shirts and you often get that fit with cotton. Slightly, excuse me, I don't know what's going on with my voice today. Slightly crisper, but it's still super comfortable. But this, this is a bit softer if you're after a softer t-shirt. Um, and then this just has the red print on it and it just says A, B, C, D, E, F, F, M which I really liked. I like the red and white a lot, actually. I think it looks really nice. Sizing-wise, uh, it kind of is a naturally oversized fit. Quite long in the body, just has really nice sleeves. Uh, it's definitely not a skinny fitting thing, so I went small, and it fits really, really well. But I really, I do really like this one. I think this looks really, really, really great. So there was Urban Outfitters, 26 pounds. We're gonna do a bit of a jump now to Paul Smith. Now, um, Paul Smith is, somewhere that I only recently would have thought of to look for slogan t-shirts. Most of you know, think of them for tailoring or smarter outfits, but they do have some great basics as well. So I picked this one up, it was 50 pounds. Now the first thing I would say is that this isn't an embroidered pattern. The top shop is actually the only one that we have here which is embroidered, which I quite like that. I think that's pretty good to say how cheap it is as well. So this isn't, it just has this little, um, is that pink or is that red? Pink, yeah, that's pink. Is that pink? Yeah, pink and blue dinosaur on it. Uh, I got this in a, oh balls, what size did I get this in? I think I got it in a small. Uh, yes, yeah, a size small, also 100% cotton. Softer than the Urban Outfitters one, despite them being the same material, it's a softer cotton. But similar in thickness, this is just slightly slightly crispier, um, but they feel like a similar thickness. Has a really similar fit to the Urban Outfitters one as well. Slightly longer sleeves, slightly shorter in the body, but still a really nice boxy fit that looks great tucked into jeans. Um, and just a really, quite, it does feel quite luxurious, this cotton, which is really nice. So that was Paul Smith at £50. And up again, we have, this one's got makeup on it, um, and it's also inside out, the Alexa Chung range. So I was really, really looking for a way that I could try out this range within Testing Basics because I think I really, I really like the collection that she's done. I'm a big Alexa Chung fan anyway. I think she's so stylish. So this is from her collection. Oh, flip. I've worn this with a tag in. I do stuff like this all of the time. For some reason, this has come with a Mr. Porter tag on it, but it is in the women's section on Meta Porter. It was £85, it's 100% cotton and I have a size small and it just says Love Rays on it. If I had to pick one for the favourite print and slogan design, this one could possibly be the winner. I love the black and white photo with the eyes, I love the angling of the letters, quite like the fact it's a monochrome design as well. A little bit different to the others too. This is probably the most oversized fitting of everything that we have here. Definitely comes up a little bit bigger than the Paul Smith and the Urban Outfitters one but has a similar boxy fit to them both. And what was I going to say? Oh, even thicker than the Paul Smith one. So if you were like closing your eyes, I don't know if you'd be able to tell which is the most expensive one. 
but you can definitely feel a slight difference between each of these despite them being all 100% cotton. Not too much of a difference between Paul Smith and Alexa Chung actually. This just feels slightly, slightly softer and thicker but still has a great structure to it. So Alexa Chung, £85. I'm very excited to see how that one gets on in the wash actually. And then finally, now, I like oh, since the Gucci t-shirt was everywhere which was like 300 and something pounds I vowed that I would never spend this isn't the Gucci t-shirt by the way I vowed I would never spend that much on a t-shirt because it's obscene and I am like I'm the person that that's marketed to I'm the kind of person that would buy something just because it's Gucci when you can get loads of others out there but you have to draw the line somewhere and I draw the line at a 300 pound t-shirt however I found this low FA one for the bargain of 225 <laughs> um, but they're like, the Gucci ones are so expensive and this was at least 200 rather than 300 but still utterly utterly obscene uh, this is a size small and it's a skinny fit it's like a stretchy material I'm going to try and not give away how I feel about this one too much but it's not going to be that positive this is not in English 94% cotton 6% elastane and the elastane definitely makes a difference. Like it's super, super stretchy, really, really skinny fitting. Just says Loewe on the front here and then has a lollipop. I do like the design. And I have to say, I think for something like this, this is the only time that I'm happy to have the branding written all over it because I paid 200 pounds for a cotton t-shirt and I want the world to know that this is an expensive t-shirt. That's the only time I feel that way about designer stuff. Normally I like things understated. But for something so basic, like the world has to know that I spent a lot of money on this because my god. So this is just ridiculous. It has the Loewe logo sort of embossed on the back there, which which is a nice touch. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to give too much away on this. Size small. I think, as I said, I like a boxy fit and this isn't a boxy fit. But going the size up, I don't think would have made a difference because of the stretchiness of it. It would have just looked poor fitting. So go for your normal size. If you too feel inclined to spend £225 on a t-shirt, I don't necessarily recommend that you go and do that though. Anyway, let's get into the next section now. Hi guys, so I'm in the bathroom today because I thought what's more glamorous than posing next to a toilet? I can't think of what possibly could be. So that's what we're doing. I've got the Topshop t-shirt on today. This one is definitely the softest. Like I could spend all day, all night in this. You could sleep in it, it's super, super soft. Um, and it does have a really good fit to it. I do really, really like it. Just because I'm being super picky, I prefer the kind of stiffness of the other ones through being all cotton. It is quite cropped in length, so it's fine with high waisted things like this. These trousers are really old from Simo Duty and need ironing, which I'm going to go do now. And I've also got some old shoes on from Aquazora. Um, so yeah, it's kind of fine with stuff that's high waisted, but if you like to tuck in your t-shirts and don't wear high waisted trousers, then this might be a bit short for that. Um, but yeah, I really like it. I actually really like the colour as well. It's nice to wear for summer, but the structure and the thickness of the other ones makes me prefer those a little bit more. Hi guys, I had on the low FA t-shirt today. Some white jeans from H&M, my red Gucci loafers, this really, really old blazer from H&M. I've had it for like four or five years. T-shirt's been fine. Um, absolutely not worth how much money it was. Like. You can see the label through it on the side. It's, it's comfortable, but so are the other ones. It's really skinny on the arms, which I didn't like at first, but now I actually do quite like that feature. It is, first I was worried it was gonna feel a bit too tight, a bit too small, but I actually really like the fit of it. Um, but it's kind of a sweaty material. It has been quite hot today, but it's not breathable and cool and like flowing. It's a sweaty feeling thing, so. Sorry about all that noise, if you can hear it in the background. Um, so, yeah, it's fine. Like, I like it. I'll probably wear it quite a lot um, because I've spent over 200 quid on it, but I don't recommend you guys go do the same, basically. Hey, guys. I'm in the kitchen today. I think there's a cat behind me. Um, had on the Urban Outfitters one today. And I really, really, really like it. It's really comfortable. It's going to be really struggle for me to pick favourites between like this and the Topshop one, but so far, all I know is I don't know why that low they one is so expensive. This has been just as comfortable. I actually think it looks better in terms of the fit as well. Um, this video isn't about jeans, but I have to recommend these very quickly. They're new, they're from And Other Stories. They fit true to size. I've got a waist 26. I think that they're incredible. Already some of the best high street denim I've got. I've yet to wash them, but from my past experience with And Other Stories, I don't expect to have any issues. I will update you on that. But they fit amazing. They're incredible. 
Anyway, this video is not about them, but I have to mention them. I've also had on some very lovely new Charlotte Olympia slides that I bought in sales. I had on some white sunglasses as well today, which was super cool. Um, but yeah, been loving this t-shirt. Really comfortable, really good for like a summer's day and a laid back outfit that still looks really cool. Looks great tucked in, better than the low FA for a really good price as well. So I'm really liking it. Hi guys, I've had on the um, Alexa Chung t-shirt today. Just been chilling at home really, packing, hence stuff being everywhere for LA tomorrow. Woo! Um, so yeah, this has been really comfortable. Um, again, not much to say, it's definitely a thicker and more structured cotton than the Urban Outfitters and Topshop ones are. It feels like it's got a bit more, just a bit more structure to it basically, and it does feel like a nicer and more expensive t-shirt. But there's not a huge, huge, huge difference between them all. I mean, again, this feels more expensive than the low FA one, in my opinion. I really, really do like the slogan on this. I like the fact it's black and white. I like the fact it's quite big and takes a good portion of it. Just think it's super cool. I um, just had it on with those uh, and the storage jeans again and my Superga trainers, because as I said, I've just been around the house. Hi guys, so I've got travel outfit today. It's a very, very, very laid back indeed. Levi Vintage 501s, low FA espadrilles, and the Paul Smith t-shirt. And I think this is what I really like about slogan t-shirts and what I've enjoyed about wearing them is that like the most basic outfits are at least made a little bit more interesting by a t-shirt. The neckline on this one's really nice. It's quite a high neckline, not too tight, but just really something about it feels really nice. Again, really lovely cotton, really nice fit to it. Just, just really, really nice. Very similar to the Alexa Chung one and the uh, Urban Outfitters ones. Uh, but yeah, I really like it. I do like the fact that it's got a smaller slogan as well. It kind of feels like it's broken up. <clears throat> the previous two bigger ones, which are like across the whole front as well. So this is the last one. And now I'm gonna obviously wear this all day and then they're all gonna be washed and I will then share my final thoughts. Okay, on to the final segment now. They've all been in the wash, all of these t-shirts. No major changes at all. They've all actually come out pretty much perfect. So, in order from the least favourite, coming in last place is Low Eve. I am a big, big, big Low Eve fan, as many of you will know. I absolutely love the brand. So I am the person who this is marketed towards. I'm the idiot who would gladly spend more on something just because it's from Low Eve. And that's shallow and I flipping love the brand so much. So I am like ideal customer for flogging a 200 and something pounds t-shirt just because it has a brand name on it. Just want to make that clear. However, don't recommend anyone else does it. We'll never, ever, ever buy a designer t-shirt again that costs this much money. It's categorically not worth that much money. It's absolutely, it's just so incredibly disappointing. Even if this was cheap, this would still have been my least favourite one. It isn't just because it was so expensive. I mean, the fact that it's so expensive makes it so much worse that I didn't like it, but the fit of it's the worst, the feel of it's the worst, it's kind of stretchy, it makes you feel all sweaty and like, ugh, just didn't feel nice wearing it. And while it's great to have low FA written all over you, if you are like me and shallow and love it, that kind of a thing, and especially, I mean, I don't generally like really obviously branded things, but low FA is my exception to the rule, um, it still doesn't even look that good. It's just so, so, so not worth the money. Don't recommend you go and buy it. Really, really incredibly disappointed with it. Not good. So that one's in last place. Next is gonna to be Topshop. Now I do really like this t-shirt and I really like the fact it's got embroidery on it. So that's a big positive. I feel like you're getting a little bit more for your money and this was the cheapest of all of them. However, now this is complete personal preference. I kind of really like stiff cotton t-shirts where you tuck them in, you get a bit of structure to them. And there's just something about them that I always think looks really, really good. And this is the least like that. This is the softest. It doesn't have as much structure to it. So it doesn't really give me as much of a good look as the other ones in terms of what I like to get from a t-shirt. Um, so yeah, that's the reason this is coming in second to last place. But I do think for like 20 pounds, how much was this, 20 something pounds? It's a really, really, really good t-shirt and something that I probably will keep forever and end up wearing around the house as well because it's so soft and comfortable too. So the next three are all very, very similar and I really like them all and I really, really recommend them all and the recommendation is basically going to be go for whichever one you really like the slogan of and whichever you can afford basically, whichever you want to spend. I think that they're all really great t-shirts. You don't have to go and spend £85 on the Alexa Chum one because the Urban Outfitters one's fantastic as well. So for that reason, I'm just gonna put them in descending price order. 
descending yes so Alexa Chung's going to be next now this is possibly my favorite slogan out of all the ones that we have here I think there's something really interesting about it I like the fact it's all monochrome I like the mix of typography with the black and white image as well um, I really like it and the fit of this is lovely the cotton of this is lovely with this one and the Paul Smith one though the finish of it is really really great like the neckline is really nice just the seams on it feel really 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 good nicer than the urban outfitters one so there is some difference in the details between these ones if you love this t-shirt then yeah go and spend that much money on it i do think it's worth it if you love it because it's a great t-shirt but you don't get much more for your money than you do compared to some of the others because there isn't huge difference in qualities it's very much preference of how they look in terms of what slogan you're getting so that one's in next place you could go size down if you wanted something that wasn't as oversized um i personally love the fit but it is the most oversized one here so in the same breath i'm going to put paul smith one in second place uh this one was around 50 pounds and again similar things you don't have to go and spend this much but you get something really really good if you do um, and I would definitely go back to Paul Smith for t slogan t-shirts from now on. I really like the slogan on it, something a little bit more subtle as well, just a little dinosaur here. So if you didn't want something that was like completely all over the front of your chest, a little bit more subtle to the left, then this would be great for that. Uh, the cotton's great, the fit's great, everything like that. It is a really, really lovely t-shirt. So that one's coming in second place. Which leaves the Urban Outfitters one in first place. Now, as I said, there are differences in the quality, mostly through the neckline, actually. There's just something really nice about the, the ribbed neck. This has a ribbed neckline too, but there is, there is a difference between the one on this one and the Paul Smith and the Alexa Chung one. So they, it doesn't feel as luxurious. The cotton of the other two feel almost identical. This one feels a little bit just a little bit less thick I would say so there is really really subtle differences however I don't think it makes any change overall to how it looks on it's made no change to the washing of it or anything like that so I think this is an amazing t-shirt I will definitely look at BDG in the future for their t-shirts I mean Urban Outfitters have so many like slogan t-shirts as well don't they but it's a brand that I would definitely check out this is my second favorite slogan out of all the ones that we had loved the red and the white with denim especially because obviously I've been wearing them with a lot of denim so I think this is a really, really great t-shirt for a really great price, but I do think those three are all great. I love them all. I'll wear those three loads. It really is just which one you like the look of the best, how much you would want to spend. Um, and I mean, I essentially don't think you get more for your money between this one and the Alexa Chung one. But if you wanted to spend £80 on it, then I would say go for it because you get something that's really great for that price as well, which I hope makes sense. It's kind of a bit of an indecisive one, this. Um, but I'm super, super pleased with those three. This one has been very popular on Instagram as well, if you're interested. So yes, that was everything. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this one. The next one I'm going to do is going to be denim jackets. I just ordered four denim jackets this morning, which is really exciting, actually. So that will be with you in a couple of weeks. Um, in the meantime, hope you all are well, and I'll see you in the next one.